understand you uh, tried communicating with Senator Blumenthal yesterday in an unusual way. Could you describe it? Senator Blumenthal and some uh, leaders of the Connecticut um, interfaith community had organized a conference on hate crimes. Um, respectfully, we told the senator that as long as the United States continues to send military aid to Israel at a time when many human rights experts and organizations have found evidence that Israel is committing a genocide in the Gaza Strip, that, that is hypocritical. If we're going to condemn hate, we must condemn hate everywhere. And the racist rhetoric and conduct at the highest levels of the Israeli government is truly nauseating. And at this moment, because of that, because of that support, the United States is an accomplice to the genocide of the Palestinian people. Senator Blumenthal's votes in Congress are all supportive of the Israeli government, aren't they? Blumenthal is one of the most pro-Israel senators. We would love to have a meeting with Blumenthal. He offered to meet with us. We plan to follow up with him. However, his silence on this issue is deafening. There, the Israeli army bombed one of the last remaining telecommunications centers in Gaza. There's a blackout in Gaza. The Israeli government sent troops in without calling it an invasion. In 2014, Israel invaded Gaza and there are documented war crimes. What is Israel doing in this blackout in Gaza, Senator Blumenthal? That's the questions you need to be asking when you attend meetings of the IDF war cabinet. I don't suppose he raises the question of water for Gaza. I don't think he does, respectfully. The people of Gaza can't survive without water and food and fuel to purify the water that's been polluted from relentless Israeli bombardment over the last 15 years. And again, the strategy seems to be to starve the people of Gaza. And I say here, not in my name. Thank you.